What's going on guys, Christian here and today I will be showing you how to unlock your iPhone. Now there are currently three types of unlocks. So first you have your passcode unlock in case you forgot your four digit personal passcode of your phone and you're locked out. Then you have the network unlock, which means that your phone is currently locked to a specific carrier and you wanna switch, you said, with another carrier. And then you have the third one, which is the iCloud lock. So I'll be speaking about each and every kind of unlock that there is and I'll tell you how you can solve it. Now it doesn't matter if you have an old iPhone or the newest iPhone, so you can follow along regardless of which iPhone model you have. Alright, so without further ado, let's start. Alright, so first we have the passcode lock. This is by far the most common kind of lock that there is. Uh, this is in case you forgot the passcode or you have a phone that is currently disabled. Now there are good news and bad news about this kind of unlock. So the good news is that there is a solution and you will be able to access your phone again. However, all the information of your phone will be deleted unless you have a backup somewhere in your computer or in iTunes or in iCloud. So if you have a backup, you are completely safe unless your phone has an iCloud lock. But I'll get into that later. So the first step is to connect your iPhone to your computer. So using your USB cable, go ahead and plug it in. So once your phone has been detected by your computer, go ahead and power off your phone. So now we have to enter recovery mode on the iPhone. All right, so to enter recovery mode, simply press and hold the home and power button at exactly the same time. Keep doing this for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds have passed, let go only of the power button. So just keep holding the home button until you see a message on iTunes saying that your phone has been detected as recovery mode. So it will look something like this. All right, so once you see the screen, click where it says restore iPhone. Now this will delete all the information that is on your phone. So unless you have a backup in your computer or in the iCloud, you will be able to get it back later. Now this will take around 30 minutes or one hour, it depends on every case. But uh, once everything is done, you will be able to access your phone again. All right guys, so now I'll show you how to factory unlock your phone from the network. So this will make your phone compatible with any carrier worldwide. So this will work for any GSM carrier and you will be able to use your phone with any SIM card. Now in this case, my phone is currently locked to AT&T, but I want to unlock it to use it with T-Mobile. So we just have to follow a couple of steps to unlock this phone. Now keep in mind that this unlock is not free, but trust me guys, it is well worth it. And after you perform this unlock, your phone will be much more valuable. All right, so let's start. So first and the most important step is to get your phone's IMEI number. So to get your phone's IMEI number, simply dial star hash zero six hash. And you will see that your 15 digit IMEI number will appear. This number is very, very important. Keep it somewhere close because we'll need it in a few seconds to request the unlock to unlock this phone. Now we'll have to switch to a computer. So just go to the website unlockriver.com. In this website, we will request the unlock to unlock this phone. So simply you have to fill in this form here about your phone's information. So begin by selecting the original carrier and country that your phone is currently locked to. So in my case, my phone is currently locked to United States, AT&T. Then select the brand, we're gonna select Apple, and then select the exact model you're trying to unlock. In this case, I'll be unlocking an iPhone 6S. All right, so now it is extremely important to enter the correct IMEI number. That's the number we just got, so enter it here. It should be 15 digit and it must be 100% correct. If there's a mistake here, this method will not work. And the last and final step is to write down your personal email where you wanna receive the notification. So just write down here your personal email address and they will email you a notification that your phone has been unlocked successfully. All right, so if you scroll down, you will see the price and the average delivery time to unlock your phone. Now, this is currently changing all the time. It depends on your phone's brand, carrier, model, and country. So once you have read everything, click unlock now. Okay, so in the following page, you will see a screen uh, showing your order summary. And uh, just check everything here. Make sure your IMEI number and everything is 100% correct. Read all the information here is very important. But don't worry, there are no risks or anything wrong will happen to your phone. In fact, there are only good things that you can get out of this unlock. But anyways, once you have read everything and place your order, you will get a message or an email just like this. I will show you my email account. So this is the email I just got and it says your iPhone has been factory unlocked successfully. So let's go ahead and open this email. So the email will confirm that your iPhone has been successfully unlocked. And now the last step is to connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi to activate the unlock. So there are two methods you can activate your phone. So first you can either connect to Wi-Fi using your iPhone 
or you can simply connect it to iTunes and your computer must have an internet connection. So simply connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi or to your computer and once you have done this you will get the message saying that your iPhone has been unlocked and you will be able to use it with any carrier worldwide. So as you can see here my phone was locked to AT&T and now I have T-Mobile here so it's fully working. So that's the way you do a network factory unlock. Now the last type of lock is the iCloud lock. This is by far the most complicated one of all. So this is for the people who recently bought a phone and is currently locked, or either you forgot the password of your iCloud account. So sadly, the only permanent solution for this is if you get the password of the iCloud account that your phone is currently locked to. So you can either contact the previous owner of that iPhone or you can click forgot password and try to get your own password back. Now at the moment there are many temporary solutions that will show you how to temporarily bypass the iCloud lock on your phone. So these methods are changing all the time based on your iPhone's version. So you can simply search on YouTube how to bypass the iCloud lock based on your current iOS version. However guys, the best way to avoid this problem is to not have it in the first place. So if you go to iCloud.com slash activation lock you will be able to check the current status of an iPhone that you're about to buy. So just simply enter the IMA number and you will check if it has a iCloud lock or if it's ready to use. So this is a very handy tool to have in case you're buying a used iPhone. But that's all for today guys, I hope this information was useful for all of you trying to unlock your iPhone. And don't forget to subscribe, we upload videos every week. Thank you for watching the video guys, see you next time, take care.